In this tutorial you will learn how to attach or detach a weapon from your character, so when I stand and I press the E on my keyboard or some other key, I have my weapon in hand and I have a press again and it's gone. I did some preparation and found a model of a sword. So this sword is a static mesh, then I right clicked, create blueprint class and then I created the actor. Then inside of the actor I did add, then static mesh, give it the name sword, and then when this clicked to static mesh, then I added my sword. In my future world, you can already see this. Let's compile save. Now, this is my sword right here. And one more thing I need to do is change the collision. So, this may be to block all, but it will collide with my player, so I set it to no collision. Then compile saves. This is the, comp uh, this is the work you have to do before we get started. Then in my third person map, when I play now, my character is just running around. So my character right now, I go to third person, blueprints, and this is the character that I'm running around with. So I select the mesh, then here under mesh, then I can see this one, this icon, click this here, because this is the mesh that my character uses. Now we don't need this view, but let's go to the skeleton by clicking right here. And you can see all the hand and the bones right here. And I need the right hand because this is where I want to attach my sock to. So let's type right or let's type hand. So hand underscore R. This is the one we need. Right click on this and then add socket. So we can click this F2 and then give this name. So I give his name weapon socket. Then right click on weapon socket, add preview asset and then select your sword. This is the static mesh. Then if you somehow misclick, you can click again on weapon sockets. And now with these move and rotate tools, you can move this right here in position. But let's start with rotation at first. So this will take a little bit of tweaking and just put it into its hand right there. By the way, the camera speed instead of four, because that goes really fast. I set this to two because I need to be up really close right here. And then let's put this into position. Okay, something like this. And then look at it from different angles. Okay, you see I need to rotate this a bit. And then pull it up again. More in position. Okay, and you can just tweak this to perfection, but for this tutorial's sake, I'm not going uh, to spend a lot more time on this. So from far away, this looks fine for this tutorial's sake. Okay, then click save. Right now our weapon socket is attached to our player, but we need to set this up for our uh, player right now. So go back here into your blueprint, then in the event graph, see, some space. And let's set it then when I press the E on my keyboard, so E keyboard, let's scroll down here. Then I want to attach um, the weapon to the socket for example. So from here, on pressed, spawn actor from class and for the spawn actor we need the blueprint this is why we uh, create the blueprint find bp sword for example and then the spawn transform we will start from our mesh because this is uh, where our player is and then from mesh get socket transform so this is the socket transform transform is a location rotation and scale and plug this in right here Okay, and then the socket name. I chose weapon socket. Make sure this is spelled correctly, even with caps or no caps. This is important for this to work. And then I leave this uh, as is. So this is fine for me. And then from the return value, attach actor to component. So once again, the socket name. So I chose weapon socket. And then the parent is usually the mesh, because it's parented to the mesh. So set this like this. And then I chose snap to target, because I want it to be a bit of snappy. Okay, then this is all fine for now, so let's test this out. So I run around and I press E. And you can see this is attached to my character. But let's do some more things. Let's say I want also want it to be removed. So let's create some room. And we can do this with a flip-flop node at first. Because first it will execute the E, the A wire, and then the B. So from this return value, let's set it to this. 
detach from actor and then plug this one into B. So first time I press E, I go to A, spawns the actor and uh, attaches it to my player, the mesh, and the mesh is right here, my character. So then I have it in hand. And then when I press E again, I go through B, which is detaching the actor from the component, and the target is also linked to this return value of the spawn actor BP sort. And we can also keep this as relative. So let's test this again. So E to grab it, and E, let's go. So you can also have your weapon or let it go. And you can also make this nice with some animations, for example. Now, let's say you want this always in your hand for this game. So then we don't need these notes, but then we drag off event begin play. And now when the player begins the game, he already has his weapon in hand. And my weapon is following. So let's say I move up here and then I jump. So the weapon is always attached. And this is how you can create weapons and attach them to your weapon sockets.